Uh, actually, my presentation is about the, a bit of crazy idea about functionals as hardware. And the fundamental question is what is functional? If it is a, a term, just a name, string, then, then my presentation is ended. So if not, if the answer is not, that's, that's my answer, then what, what does it mean? It, in my opinion, functional, uh, the term denotes a functional. So uh, in the, <laughs> however, the current paradigm in, in uh, information technology and generally in computer science is that only symbolic computation are possible on higher object, higher order objects. Pardon? Okay, so maybe I use the, the microphone. Yeah. So uh, only symbolic computation. It means the term rewriting. Yeah. So we have uh, uh, names, and we can transform the names into the names, and th th this means computation. It makes sense, of course, like algebraic uh, computation. Everybody knows from the elementary schools uh, that this can be done and this is meaningful. However, it, it, it seems that the functional, functional is takes function as an uh, as a input object and returns also a higher order object. So it seems that, that the, 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 now the hardware uh, technology is very close to break the paradigm. And the thesis of my presentation is that the functional may be uh, uh, viewed as a generic mechanism for management of dynamic connection in refu refugable huge arrays of functional units. We have arrays of uh, first order functions and possible connection between these functions in, in the sense that connection uh, uh, is between output of one function to the input of another function. And uh, um, uh, <coughs> managing such uh, connection, we can it 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 means just a functional, yeah. Okay, so let's go on. What is a functional? Uh, it can be represented as fully pipelined data flow. It is a very nice mathematical structure. It is directed a cyclic graph with the nodes nodes of this graph are. Uh, primi simple primitive functionals, and edges correspond to the connection between the, uh, output and input of one uh, or, or, or node and another node. Yeah? However, if uh, functionals are some, uh, sometimes complex, uh, they, uh, they have uh, a recursion inside. So in this case, the, such nodes can, can be dynamically unfolded. I will show you in the example. Here we have some uh, 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 very nice, very simple example. Graph F. Yeah. What does that, uh, the, the, the here? What does that, the flow? Uh, what, 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 what is done in this, uh, uh, in this graph? We have input. Yeah. Input is a natural number, and a sequence of function, function from A to A. Yeah. And output is, is of the same type. Yeah. What, what is done in this graph, in this uh, data flow, is just, is, is just composing the end, the function that is uh, the end uh, element of the sequence C with the next uh, function of the, of the sequence and put this, this function, this composition into the final, into the, into the output, yeah? That's all. You see several nodes that correspond to simple primitive functionals like apply, it is higher order application, co copy, make a copy of, 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 uh, of a function, of a functional, simple functional, of, uh, or, and compose, and finally the change. I will explain you in the sequel what is going on. And here we have another simple data flow graphs. However, it is a famous higher order primitive recursion scheme. You will see that, that, that it takes the functional f from the previous slide as its input, natural numbers, and number one as an input, and a sequence. C is a sequence of 
function from uh, A to A. Yeah? And what is the result? The result is uh, also very simple. Because the result, it takes input and natural number, sequence of, of, of functions from A to A, and the output is the composition of the first elements of this sequence. Yeah? It is simple, but how can, it be, how can it be realized as a hardware? That's the question. Yeah? From the conceptual point of view, it is simple. However, the, the key point here is, is the, of this functional that, that corresponds to the higher order recursion schema is the, the shown uh, uh, here is iteration, operation that uh, functional that takes a function. Here is a functional, uh, of course, and iterates n times, composed with itself l n times. It can be unfolded, as we see then, and during the execution, I mean when the n is put uh, as an input, concrete parameter, then, then <coughs> the graph is unfolded. Yeah? You see n times composition of the functional f. Yeah? However, uh, as you can see, the functional f is not so simple. It is just simple gra a simple graph without loops. Yeah. However, uh, however, it's still uh, a, a functional. Yeah. So we can easily operate on functionals as a higher order objects. Yeah. In, in the form of 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 a, a cyclic directed graphs. Okay. So let's go to the details. That that wa wa was in, on the intuition. And uh, the thesis is that the functional are just transformation of cyclic directed graphs. If, if you have such graphs and nice mathematical structure, then it's a very, very good <coughs> notion to, to operate. However, if the nodes of the graphs are first order function, then you can map directly on the hardware. Yeah? It is, in some way, it is done can be done, yeah? However, from the abstract point of view, if we have a chip and the, the output of a chip that is connected with the input of another chip is just a composition of two first order functions, yeah? First order, uh, first order functions, and then the second chip is also first order functions. So, we can imagine composition as a functional. You see, in the, in the uh, just this composition function v e first order function uh, u, and we put composition is a I will see a directed uh, acyclic graph, and uh, that uh, this function is put into the input called sockets, and the output is another function. Yeah, how can it uh, how can it be done as a as a, a hardware, yeah, as a as a graph, yeah, that for arbitrary uh, functions, first order functions returns another functions. First, some notions like socket, plugs, and types. Uh, input of a function is is called a socket, and output is of the function is is a, a plug. So and, and it's not natural uh, and, and uh, denotes natural numbers, a primitive data type. And the type of function is, is just n to uh, n, and the subscript, uh, subscript upper script s denotes so, uh, socket, and the p denotes plug. So anyway, we can. Uh, what is a type? Now, the, the crucial point here is what is a type? How c a type can be represented uh, in hardware? Yeah. So uh, look at the, the simple type from n to n. It is just a board that consists of Two parts. The first part in the first part correspond to in, correspond, that correspond to input is socket, is socket, and the output in the output is the plug. So in general case, if we have multiple inputs, multi out, outputs, this board is just like this: input part, output part, many socket, many plugs. Let's go on. How to create order? Types, yeah, as a, as a boards, yeah, of sockets and plugs. In the very, very simple way, here you have a, a, a socket that is a, a type from a functional type from A to B, 
and here uh, the, the, the plug is C. Here we have here function the type to function type, and and here we have even more complex type. It is just board, and here we have sockets. Yeah, all, all sockets are actually can be composed of primitive sockets of type N. The same concerns the plugs. Yeah. So. The link between the sockets are, 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 are at the uh, same time. The uh, link is uh, directed. It corresponds to data flow from a socket to, 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 to plug. So uh, I'm going to show that the generic, generic mechanism for dynamic creation and configuration of the links between plug and sockets correspond to high order uh, com co computation. It's this very generic mechanism are, can be considered as functionals. First of all is the higher order application. We have a functional here on the on the right uh, upper corner. Yeah, it is the socket is a is a, a functional type. It takes function and returns uh, the, the object of type C. What does it mean to apply a function? Yeah, a function from uh, say G from A to B to such functional. It is just it is shown here. Connect the, this socket with this socket of the function, and the plug of the function with the plug uh, uh, here on the board, and the result is here. It may be seen uh, as as strange. However, I am going to show you that is a meaningful in the case of uh, in the case of co uh, composition. Yeah, uh, I am going to 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 uh, construct a. A graph that corresponds to co composition. It takes function from A to B, and another function from uh, from B to C. It enters uh, its composition as a function from A to C. Okay. This is shown here. Here is the uh, as you see a, a board consisting of input part and output part. Here we have one socket, the second socket, and and here is the plug, and just the, the this, the connections, uh, are uh, the connection is actually a data flow graph, correspond to composition. As we see in the next picture, if you put function f into the first socket of the of the composition function now. And then, if you put G into the second socket of the of the functional, then there is a, then the result is here. It is a composition of these two functions. The function can be uh, be arbitrary, yeah. No. So, in order to 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 see, it is very simply. It is obvious uh, anyway. Follow the links, yeah. From here, go to A through the function F, then to to the to, to, to the B, and then to the uh, B next B to the function and go back here and we have output, yeah? This is a composition of these two functions. It's very simple. So the higher order application shown in the previous slide makes sense. Okay. So going, I'm going to the conclusion. Higher uh, order application and the composition are constructed uh, as a Acyclic directed graphs by providing some links between socket, sockets and plugs. Yeah? And generally, uh, functional as con uh, are constructed by the dynamic config configuration of the, of the links of the connection between sockets and, and, and plugs. Here we have, uh, as a primitive uh, type, natural numbers. Uh, 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 there are some primitive type constructor are product, disjoint, union, arrow uh, for ta functional type, dependent types, primitive operations, apply, compose, e compose was shown, already applied, also was shown, copy for copying uh, object, also of a uh, higher o order object, iteration for iterating, uh, uh, for iterating uh, functions, or fu functionals even, Successor, predecessor, and some primitive relation. So it, it is quite powerful framework because uh, it corresponds to the second order intuitionistic arithmetic. Not for, it is not formal 
format theorem, but this is, and final sli slide is to show you that how to construct iteration as a primitive functional. Here we see that uh, it is it uh, iter, it, uh, it is for input uh, for, it means the, how many times the, the function f should be iterated. And the final result is, is, is the uh, fourth composition of the same function. You see that it is, it is composed of, it, is, it consists of, of copy, primitive functional copy. For copying functions, we need four copies of the functions. The same function can, can uh, one function and one object can be used only once. If you want uh, uh, the same, uh, the, again, the same uh, object, we must copy it. It m m must be done explicitly by, by, by copy operation. And here we have a compose, uh, compose a function now, and the result is here. So, At the end of, of my presentation, <laughs> so uh, if you are interested in such, a, it is a, I, I wrote a paper. Uh, it is a types and operation uh, version four. I put this version on the archive uh, yesterday uh, evening, so it should be uh, today or tomorrow available. It is, uh, important is the version because it is a, a revision of, of previous versions. And that's all of my presentation, if you have some questions. So we have time for questions? How does this differ from the gates? Just a construction. You have sockets, you have primitive types, you have sockets, plugs, boards, and connection between these, these no, uh, sockets and the plugs. That's all. No logic, no, uh, no, uh, no, no uh, <laughs> functional, <laughs> uh, no lambda uh, calculus, no uh, combinatorial. Uh, actually, this primitive, primitive uh, functionals corresponds to combinators in, uh, say, uh, uh, carry. Uh, combinatorial logic. That's uh, that's true. That's correspond. But uh, there are not symbols. They have uh, meaning in hardware, as, as you have sh shown you. Very precise meaning, grounding in hardware. No logic. Logic, of course, will, will be derived, but that's another story. Uh, sorry, that's a question. Uh, I understand that the function is a But, but once again, uh, okay, so the question would be how types are represented. Types? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have one primitive type, yeah, here. Natural numbers, yeah? Natural numbers uh, can be implemented as a, uh, what? Uh, as a sequence of, of, of signals, yeah? Elementary signals. That's right. No problem with uh, the hardware interpret interpretation. Then, uh, from the, the, this type, you, you, you can create functional type, product, disjoint union, okay. And then uh, w once we have a functional type, you can make uh, much higher types, yeah? And all these types are represented as a boards of sockets and plugs, yeah? 